What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of Attack once again, and welcome to a How and Why to Mine X Coin. Today we're going to be talking about BTCZ, aka Bitcoin Z. So stick around. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to mine Bitcoin Z on both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs and mining to the SOAP pool. The SOAP pool is the Son of Attack community pool, and you can see other pools at coins.sonofattack.com. We did have some issues with getting enough hash power on Vertcoin recently, so I did want to put a disclaimer out there and let you guys know we are moving that to a P2P pool. And that will just help us gain more payouts, etc. The rest of the pools are paying out regularly and on a daily basis, and we have enough hash power on them, so feel free to come on over for the low to no fees, and I hope to see you guys mining over there. But today we're going to talk about how to mine Bitcoin Z to it and we're getting a lot of good payouts so I'm excited to share this with you guys. Starting things off we're going to go ahead and take a look at the wallet which you can get from GitHub which is just the Bitcoin Z wallet for Windows. And once you download it I just recommend that you extract it to a directory of your choice. We went with the desktop so we're just currently on the desktop here. You right click go 7-zip and extract files here. And then we have the wallet. Once opening the wallet, yours will sync initially and it'll have like a little sync time. It's actually a pretty quick one considering, at least comparatively to a lot of other coins like Sumo Coin, for example. And then once open, it will also have a disclaimer message, which I have already exited out of. We're gonna wanna go over to our own addresses and we are looking for a T address. The Z address is going to be a private address. However, for mining, a lot of miners and a lot of pools do not support Z addresses, so you're going to have to use a T address, which is, stands for transparent. So it's not quite anonymous mining, however, with the Z address you have anonymous transactions, so gold in there if you want the option. You can just right click and say copy value for later. Now I'm going to hop into my miner and get to work on show you guys how to mine. We have two miners today. We'll start with Claymore Zcash Miner, which is for AMD GPUs. You can go ahead and download it through a Bitcoin talk forum and head on over to the Mega Upload. Once you're on the Mega Upload, you're looking for the bottom version, which is going to be the latest version that's also a zip file. So we're also looking for zip, not for a tar. So right here, you'll see that this one is the one that will be used for Windows today. And you can just double click it to download it. We're gonna click save and open the folder and then copy it and then move to our desktop and go to Claymore Zcash Miner and paste it in this folder and you will have nothing in this folder yet but then we're going to just do a 7-zip extract here which I'm not going to do at this point because I already have version 12.6 here. All right, so once you're done with that, you're not actually going to have these two batch files. You're just going to have a zekminer64.exe and a config file where usually we would config everything in the batch file. Today we're going to config everything in the text file, which is named config.txt. Opening this up, you will see a Z pool, which is going to be the pool we're mining to, a wallet address, which is where you will go ahead and pull up your wallet copy this value and then paste it after the Z wallet address and then the rest of the commands. I intensity is going to set the intensity for the miner. If you're having issues with reliability, turn the intensity number down. It's between zero and nine. I usually start at eight and then go from there. I never start at nine because it almost always never works. Yeah, that's a thing. Almost always never. Yes. That's going to be the rundown on all of that. Of course, the password, Z password, since we do anonymous pools and do not require you to have an account, you can just put as X or Z. It's just a Z because Zcash. Yeah. Anyways, or Bitcoin Z. Get it? I'm not going to save that config file. I am going to show you guys how to create a batch file. So the next thing we want to do is right click in the directory that we have the miner in and say new text document. And we're going to say start so btcz. And then we are going to right click and edit. And at this point, we are going to want to copy the name of the executable. So I can do this by just saying rename and then highlighting and control C and pasting it 
in here. The next thing we want to do is I already have one prepped here is set all of our GPU settings as well. So we will copy this portion and paste that into the batch file and I'll leave this in the description below for you guys. And this will just set some of the GPU settings for better performance and then we can do a file save. Once you've saved the text document make sure you right click and rename and change the extension to bat and this will let you run it as a batch file. Another note here is if you do not have the option to see the extension, make sure you go into folder options. You can just do a quick search. It's usually the easiest way and click the show hidden files and folders under settings and uncheck the box for hide extensions for known file types and press OK and the extension should appear for you. At this point, I'm also going to do the last step, which is create a shortcut. And with this shortcut, if we go down into our search, we can run a run command and then run shell colon startup. And at this point, we can take the shortcut and place it into our startup program. So if the miner reboots, it'll automatically start up mining again. That's just always a good thing to do and I wanted to start reiterating that a little bit more often with you all. So now that we have all of that configured, we will, and let me cancel my pearl mining here for you guys, we will go ahead and run the miner. So at this point we can double click even the shortcut and usually you want to go through the shortcut just to make sure the shortcut itself is running as well. And as you can see we have total cards one and it'll start running. Let's talk about mining BTCZ with NVIDIA. So I'm basically going to open the browser back up and now we're going to head on over to the mega upload, which I'll leave in the description below for EWBF's miner, which is also known as Zek miner and double click it to download it. All right, so I'm going to click save and open the folder run a cut command, go to my desktop, and I usually create a folder. If you guys want to create a folder, like I've shown before, right click and say new folder, and mine is named NV Zek Miner. I'll paste that in here, right click, and then go to 7-zip, extract here, or I can just say extract all with the built-in windows, and I will have all of my files here ready for me to mine. At this point, we want to right click and say new text document and we will do name it so Zek and then this one's just going to be test and then name the extension bat. At this point, it'll ask you if you want to change the extension name and say yes. And at this point, we will right click and say edit and we'll have a blank notepad. What I'm going to do here though is just go ahead and edit this one and copy over my settings from this one and go over the settings. So at this point, you have minor, which is going to target the executable in the directory and then dash dash server. Here's where we'll put our Bitcoin Z server, which for son of a tech is going to be Z cash.sonofatech.com the port number for it which is 3432 and then our wallet address and then dot so rig so this is just to specify the worker name and then the password once again can be whatever x z so on and so forth so at that point you can just say file save and then we can double click the miner to start off and running on nvidia so that pretty much wraps up how to mine bitcoin z aka btcz on soap pool with amd and nvidia gpus on windows 10. thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below if you're having trouble check out the discord link to our great community on discord hopping in there you'll find a plethora of information from a lot of different users in the soap community and it's growing very rapidly so hop in now so you can get your voice heard and get your questions answered thanks for watching and as always i will see you next tuesday